Las Vegas Mafia enforcer Tony Spilatro's life is spiraling out of control. His credibility with his Chicago-based bosses sinks when he recklessly endangers their lives and the lives of their wives and children. And to make matters worse, the FBI and Vegas Metro Police, working in complete cooperation, continue to turn up the heat on the overwhelmed mobster. But Spilatro doesn't make it easy for them. He converts his gold rush jewelry store into a secure, fortified headquarters. Guns are kept under the counter. He stations men with binoculars on the roof as lookouts. He even has his own electronic surveillance and counterintelligence operation. Tony Spilatro believes he is out of reach, but the FBI has the edge. They have an informant, Salvatore Romano, and for this investigation, he is worth his weight in gold. He is the hole-in-the-wall gang's alarms expert. Romano tells the FBI Spilatro's elaborate plan for a million-dollar burglary at Bertha's Antiques and Jewelry Store. Additionally, he secretly records their private meetings inside the gold rush with a camera hidden in a loudspeaker. The door itself is steel. If the police and the FBI can catch the gang red-handed, Spilatro is finished. The date for the raid is the 4th of July, 1981. Spilatro's plan is for the fireworks celebrations to cover the noise of the gang breaking into Berthus through the roof and into the vault. But this time, the cops and FBI agents are waiting. I was with Yablonski, and all my men had teamed up with an FBI agent. We watched it as it went down. We were videotaping them when they showed up and they carrying their acetylene torches and tanks and climbing up and getting ready to do their burglary. When the gang breaks in, the agents and officers strike. 